how much Jesus was sold. In the biblical narrative, the story of Jesus' betrayal and the price for which he was sold holds great significance. According to the Gospel of Matthew, Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. This act of betrayal ultimately led to Jesus' arrest, crucifixion, and ultimate sacrifice for humanity. Key takeaways, the biblical story of Jesus' betrayal and the price he was sold for emphasizes the value placed on his life. Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. The symbolic value of the 30 pieces of silver represents the price of a slave. After realizing the consequences of his betrayal, Judas returned the money and experienced deep remorse. The story of the 30 pieces of silver serves as a cautionary tale of the consequences of betrayal and the sacrificial love of Jesus. Who was Jesus in the Bible? How much Jesus was sold here is a set of bullet points on how much Jesus was sold for, in silver, gold, daily wages. How much was Jesus sold for? Minus 30 pieces of silver, Matthew 26 15, Jesus sold price, about 4 months wages for a hired laborer, Matthew 22, minus 300 denarii, the price of a slave, Mark 14 5, minus 2 gold coins worth about 4 months wages, Luke 19 13, what was the price of selling Jesus? The price of selling Jesus was his betrayal by Judas Iscariot for 30 pieces of silver, Matthew 26 14 to 16. How much is Jesus worth? Jesus is priceless and invaluable because he is the Son of God, John 3 16. How much would Jesus be sold for today? If we put a monetary value on Jesus today, he would probably be worth billions of dollars. The above are some rough estimates on how much Jesus was sold for. It's hard to put an exact number on it, because Jesus is priceless. He is worth more than anything that money can buy. The betrayal of Jesus The betrayal of Jesus by Judas Iscariot is a significant event in Christian history. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, made a deal with the chief priests to hand over Jesus in exchange for 30 pieces of silver, marking a moment of betrayal that would have far-reaching consequences. The act of betrayal led to Jesus' arrest and subsequent crucifixion, ultimately fulfilling prophecy and serving as a testament to Jesus' sacrificial love for humanity. The story of Judas' betrayal with the 30 pieces of silver is a reminder of the value that we place on others and the consequences of our actions. Then one of the twelve, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I deliver him over to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver. This act of betrayal has been studied as part of the betrayer archetype in literature and psychology, with Judas Iscariot becoming synonymous with betrayal. Father, grandfather, minister, missionary, deacon, elder, author, digital missionary, foster parents, welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about a slash, view all posts.